All right, guys, welcome to a weird backwater fishing video where I explain how I got myself stuck in the marsh and that motor is embedded in that stuff. So let's start by saying this motor, the steering wheel, it only turns the motor one way about 30% while the other way is about 100%. Well, I'd say 50%. So I'm coming out and I'm making the turn and I'm, you know, I'm just coming around. No, actually, yeah, I come around this way and I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to turn, you know, and it won't turn. So I'm slowing down because I know this motor doesn't turn all the way. And then it starts to turn. So I go, I give it some gas thinking, okay, I'm gonna give it and it's gonna go. I skid and land right in the marsh. Okay, sorry, someone was calling me. So when I landed in the marsh, right, I immediately grabbed my bucket and I filled it with water and I stood inside the bucket. And as I did that, I tried to pull the rope while, you know, while standing in the bucket. What happened was the bucket sank all the way under the mud. So if I would have got in the water without that bucket, I'd probably be chest deep right now. So... Yeah, pretty great stuff. Uh, pretty exciting times out here. At least I'm getting my tan on, you know. Working on my freshly shaven chest. Y'all check it out. Hope y'all like that. Um, you know, that's onlyfins.com, by the way. So y'all check that out. Does that sound familiar? Uh, but yeah, I'm in the wilderness now. I feel like I'm a part of the marsh. I am the marsh man. I'm just going to live out here and hunt wild boar with my Glock and try to try to live off the land. So, thank you guys for checking out this effed up moment that I brought to you because I share everything I do. Even when I mess up, we're going to share it. I, nobody's perfect, you know. I messed up. This is the first time I've ever done this. And I blame, I do, I do blame the turning of the motor. It does not turn. It, it, you see how far it's turned. It barely, it barely, well, I'm stuck. I'm not moving anyway. But, yeah, it barely turns. So, thank you guys for watching and all the support. I appreciate you. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. I was stuck in the marsh for an hour. A buddy pulled me out. I went to the next canal over and hooked up on a red from gas. That's not a sign that, that life's crazy. I don't know what is. Ah, nice one, too. Good little fish right there. Wow. Dude, this fish was for, is for Sean right here for pulling me out of the, of the marsh, man. Thank you. I truly appreciate that. Dude, save me, man. I was stuck. The tide was falling, and we caught a fish for it. Wow. That was amazing. I'm so thankful for him coming and saving me. Without him, I'm screwed right now. All right, we might salvage a video because I gave up hope. Thank you, man. That dude's like I, I literally I'm gonna put up a little clip that I recorded while I was stuck, so you'll guys you'll guys know what I'm talking about. But I was stuck, I was getting mad, and I'm like, man, I'm gonna be because I was up on the land. Like I wasn't even in water. And yeah. He came through, tide was falling, had just enough water to get to get to get in there and get me out because his bro his boat draws about a foot and a half of water at minimum. So he saved me. He saved me. Ah, man, that's a good dude. Thankful. I'm thankful right now. I'm just feeling thankful. That's all I could. That's all I could think about is how thankful I am. If we could salvage five quick redfish. That'd be nice. Cause I got to get out of here. I got to go bowling too. So hopefully I don't get stuck again. Whoop! There he is. There's a flounder. We're going to see if we can string a box together really quick. Try to get a quick one. Because I didn't even fish yet. I've been stuck, man. So, nice little flounder, guys. Came right off the bank over here. He was fighting so weird. I thought it was a freaking hardhead. Like, he was doing the hardhead thing where he just kind of comes at you slowly. That's what hardheads do. Right here, right here, right here. Right here. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh my, he's right there, he's in the marsh. Oh my, where'd he go? Oh my 
Gaga. He was. He was so far in the marsh that there was no casting to him. Just saw one and he bumped me. He didn't need it and he swam out. I don't know where he went. Probably won't hit again. Oh. No. Dang. Oh, yep, he hit again. Was it you? Was it you? Oh, my. Was it you? Was that you? The whole time. Look, he's pooping out something. What is that? I'm sorry, but I gotta know. It's actually a piece of marsh. Y'all, that was for science. I had to know. Oh, he's right there. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. What is that? There's something up there, but I, he just, I don't know what he's doing. Flounder? Yep, it was a flounder. I knew it. He did the flounder dance when he hit it. Left up some mud puffs. All right. We'll take you, Jake. We'll take you, Jake. I still think there's a redfish up here. There's something else that was up here. A good one. Saw one next to him too. A couple fish right here. Look at all this tide coming through. Yeah. All right. Not a bad one. Oh, that's a good one, actually. All right. Let's try to get him in with the net for sure. I think there's a couple fish up there. There for them was a couple. Pinky. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Get them fins out. Okay, y'all see. Them. I've been stuck for about 30 minutes, and uh, you know, I'm starting to feel tribal. I'm naked. Uh, I just feel like I belong to the marsh now. So this is my new home. I'm gonna roam around the marshy terrain and just forage naked with a. Uh, with the wild boars a lot of i got a cast net there's a lot of mullet swimming by i'll be fine so y'all forget about me <sighs> stepped on a hook it's the coast guard wants to always write people tickets and see if this actually works let's show let's just test it Ugh, what the hell was on that